Hey guys, electricity and tube amps can be dangerous and deadly. Please take the time to pause this and read the safety warning and please be safe. Uh, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. This is a uh, fourth video in the 57 mini tweet 5 watt uh, combo amp kit from uh, stumac.com and this should hopefully be the, the final build video and in this video we're going to be concentrating on building the circuit board and getting the circuit board installed and all the all the wires that come off that to the tubes uh, before we jump into that uh, and in the instructions uh, stumac.com gives a real good in-depth on, on how you should be installing the passive components onto the circuit board it gives a really good breakdown of of the mechanical how to do mechanical so if, if you're you're new to soldering or new to circuit board design this is a has some really good pointers here and the first steps we're going to be doing we're going to be working on the circuit board that we were uh, that we pre-drilled in an earlier video and uh, it's going to have us working from right to left so we're going to go ahead and get the, these first uh, components done this looks like it's uh, the preamp section we'll go ahead and get these mounted to the board uh, one thing I want to note is I'm going through selecting the parts even though the instructions are, are very clear on uh, what value of, of resistor or capacitor that you're selecting and it, and it does, has a really good job of, of giving the the color stripes on the resistors sometimes it can be hard to read them uh, once what's this physically on there so uh, I'm testing each component with, uh, with my Fluke 87V multimeter before I put it on there and if, if you've never done that before uh, so to check the resistance on a resistor go into the ohm setting and uh, you want to put on something non-conductive I don't I don't I have only touch probe so I can't clip on so I'm testing here and then here you go this is a uh, 1.5 uh, K resistor and then for the setting for the capacitor same thing you just have to do a choose capacitance so right here that's there you go there's a whoops the 22 value uh, capacitor so I'm just double checking as I'm going on these to make sure that uh, I'm putting the correct components in the right spot all right we got all the components onto the board uh, this capacitor over here I think that's a 1.5 K it was at its very max limits on its length going into there and the jumper that they recommended two and a quarter inch on the back those between that was also at its very max limit so even though the instructions didn't say to uh, I jumped ahead and saw that nothing else goes went in this point or these two point and I went ahead and soldered them up just because the uh, the links were uh, so close but uh, it's the preamp section done now, now I'm gonna go and move on to the next section all right this is the middle part of the board this is uh, got uh, your, your coupling capacitor and it looks like these are the capacitors just going to be a uh, part of your power section going into your power tubes so I'll go ahead and uh, get these mounted and uh, show you what that looks like all right got all the wires there's a couple on the back side got these all done uh, for the power section uh, and again the instructions didn't tell me to do it but there's a few few joints on here that are giving me problems so I went ahead and soldered them so the wires would uh, not keep falling out. Now moving on to the, the last portion of what goes on the circuit board be the uh, large uh, capacitors here and this is going to be the power section uh, coming from the rectifier and be feeding the power to, to all the tubes so we'll go ahead and get these mounted up. All right, we got the two microfarad uh, capacitors installed. Also got two resistors down here and then a, a bus bar across the top. And there's another one I installed on the back side of the board. And the bus bar is for the ground. And they have one more 16 microfarad capacitor here. Installed on the very left of the board and also has a 
a jumper that looks like it's going down from the, the to one of the tone pots behind the board and then the, the filament wires are going to be wrapped and go through the board as well so I'll go ahead and get that jumper ran and uh, put that 16 microfarad cap up in place okay at this point I got all the components ran on the board this last step we put in the 16 microfarad cap a uh, long jumper that would be going from the volume pot down to one of the tubes and then this twisted uh, green wire which will be coming off the pilot light to power the filaments on the output and 12x7 preamp tube. So at this point the instructions has been going through. I'm going to go double check everything on the board just make sure nothing came loose uh, during putting this together and then it's going to have me uh, solder all the joints that uh, I, I already didn't pre-solder during, uh, during getting this to this point. Alright, got uh, everything soldered and I also went through and clipped off all the excess pieces that, from uh, the mechanical bins. Uh, these flush Exolite cutters are extremely handy for not only cutting the wire uh, when you're cutting these wire but also snipping these off. So I would highly recommend uh, investing in a pair of something like this. These are Exolite 170M flush uh, cutters. All right, uh, and the next step is gonna have me mounting the circuit board inside the chassis. And it's gonna have me start to wiring in all the free ends, starting with the, the uh, wires going into the top, which is the pilot light, the uh, tone volume slash on off, and then the wires coming off the speaker, our correction instrument input jacks right here. Okay, got the uh, circuit board mounted in the chassis, mounted with two screws, you know, one here next to the uh, power capacitors, and another one over here. And it uh, went through the top circuit board, the insulation board on the back, and then connected on this side of the chassis with uh, these two locking nuts here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and per the instructions, start uh, doing the mounting of the wires coming off the top of the circuit board to the instrument input jacks. Uh, the speaker volume and over here the, the ground ground lug and then filament wires coming off the pilot light okay uh, I went ahead and soldered the connections over on the instrument as well as uh, those lugs where we laced in the, the, the shape uh, the tone shaping resistor in the very first video I put all the connections on the tone volume pot here and then I wired up and soldered in all the connections going into the back end of the pilot light. In addition, uh, there's 200K resistors that got tied together down here and then went down to this ground lug. This uh, creates a center tap for your filaments and helps, uh, helps with buzz. Uh, one thing I will note that I, in this step, I'm, I'm out of the green, the green wire and I was very careful when I was cutting and because each step tells the exact amount to cut and uh, I'm wondering if they mixed up because I have an excess of this yellow wire and I think we're done with the yellow wire so I'm thinking that maybe they, they gave me too much yellow and not enough of the green. Uh, luckily though from a previous build I did I have some more green wire so that's what I used to make that uh, cent uh, virtual center tap connection coming up for this ground lug and I'm going to use the rest of this eventually when we get down here to the bottom to uh, complete the, the last run from the 6v6, 6v6 over to the 12x7 for the, the extension of the filament wires. All right, next steps in the process is going to have me uh, start working on the, the lower part of the chassis where the tube sockets are and it's on this uh, page it's going to be going to solder up all the connections coming off the circuit board and then power transformer for the 5y3 power tube rectifier and then over here uh, soldering the connections and filament and then putting the extensions in uh, coming off the 6v6 so I'll go ahead and get that done all right I got uh, everything wired up to the 5y3 rectifier tube 
and I got everything wired up to the 6v6 tube as well, tube sockets. So uh, instructions as we know, it's going to be finishing up. We finish up uh, putting the pilot filaments to wire up the 12AX7 and finish wiring up the speaker output RCA jack. And uh, that'll be all the connections that we soldered for inside the chassis. Okay, so I uh, got everything completed. Finished off the RCA jack for the speaker out and got all the connections, including the filament heater wires uh, for the 12AX7 socket. Uh, so now I'm gonna go through and check all the connections just to make sure I didn't miss anything and uh, go on uh, to the startup procedures and, and uh, double check to make sure we're starting up the amp. Uh, during my inspection, I did find one joint that I forgot to solder, which is uh, right here. Where the, I think it's 60K resi 68K resistor is going through. Uh, it wasn't touching, so I just went and finished that up. And now, next part is going ahead and wants me to mount the chassis, install the fuse, the pilot light, uh, the actual actual lamp, and the volume knob and then clamp the power cord so go ahead and get that installed inside the chassis and go from there. <clears throat> okay so uh, this is the next day for where we left off. Uh, during my testing process I, I ran into an issue with uh, the 12AX7 socket. Uh, one of the one of the uh, sockets for the tube looked like it had some excess zinc plating in there and it was impeding the 12AX7 tube from going in. So I had to take between a, a small 1 16th drill bit and a very fine tip uh, hex bit go in and break up that zinc plating. But uh, it's all assembled now and fully te I tested it and everything's working. And uh, I wanted to go through the startup procedures that uh, Stu Mac recommended and uh, show you some of the voltage coming off the B plus. Uh, so normally when you're building tube amps you would have a voltage limiter which is typically like a light bulb that uh, I think it's tied in parallel or in series with uh, your main power so if there is any stray voltage uh, the light bulb takes all the excess voltage which which helps uh, protect some of your passive components. There's also a thing called a variac, which allows you to slowly bring the uh, voltage up on the amp from uh, zero up to 120, which is typically the voltage coming off uh, you know, a wall in the US. I don't have e either one of those. So what Stu Mac recommended is at first, uh, they, they had you take none of the, had none of the tubes in uh, and then turn on just to see if you're getting pilot light and to check the voltage of your filament wires at uh, at the 12AX7 to make sure you're getting six volts, which, which I was. Uh, next, they had you power the amp down, and install the 5Y3 uh, rectifier or rectifier tube, and then take some voltages at uh, the B plus source, which is for here is at that junction at this junction here at the, that first 16. A microfarad or capacitor. And I got the multimeter set up here so we'll take that voltage. And turn the light on. So right now I'm getting 300, about 319.5 uh, volts DC at that first junction. Uh, also at the, where the 12VX is getting, it is getting uh, 166 on that first side, and 170 on the other. So all the voltages just seem to check out, and uh, after they had you check the 5Y3 power, had you installed the 12VX7, and that's the, and when I was installing that 12VX7, that's why I ran into the issue with the with uh, the, the tube socket on that 12x7 I had, so I had to stop and uh, go in there and, and do some open heart surgery to fix that uh, tube socket but everything seems to be working now and uh, it's up and running and uh, 
I think I'll stop it stop this video here and then I think I'll do one more video talking just through some of the tone tests and uh, some of my thoughts and impressions of the, the Stumac kit uh, kind of as a, a review from from building this so uh, thanks for joining in this video thanks for watching this series uh, if you do like this please subscribe if you have any questions comment and I'll gladly answer them and uh, please give a, a, a like to this video thank you